Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Crooked Creek. Blackstank 610 here. And uh, we're going to dive right into it. We're actually over here at Mr. Davis's place. Uh, we just dropped off his Mac with his frameless dump. I don't believe you guys saw that last time. He had that actually out on another job. Uh, but he was nice enough and kind enough to help me out with a deal. Um, he had a large amount of extra grass this year i guess he had a really good harvest and he cut me a deal on it because uh our field didn't grow in quite like we were hoping and we're not gonna have enough uh mix to feed the cows through the winter um so cows are doing great so far everybody's healthy everybody's good but we're going into the hard part of the year for everybody and i wanted to just have a little bit of a safety net um so we're gonna actually get the the tractor out we're gonna get some silage uh compacted or some grass compacted turned hopefully into silage as you can see there's a lot a lot of grass in there um we did move we did a little bit of maintenance and kind of you know moving some stuff around uh we got our our little bit of tmr here we have some some uh hay for the bedding and then we got our chicken feed moved into here as long um you know as long as it stays dry we're we're, we're okay wherever it goes uh speaking of the chickens let's go check on those because we should have yeah we do we got some eggs starting okay everybody looks good there cool all right let's uh let's get started we got some compacting some leveling it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit probably a good portion of today I think the 7410 should be sufficient. Got a lot to compact down. All right, let's see. Give it a little bump there. I think that might be okay. Let's see if we'll get this connected. There we go. Cables connected. Hold that out. take some of these uh higher banks off if i'm able to unfortunately it's not not going to be the best as far as even uh because of how that frameless dump trailer dumps it it kind of you have to gauge it as best you can my 
my plan is to try to get this as compacted as what I can. the silo the the actual compactor and we're going to try to get up in there and see if we can't work a little more all right well i think that's a start get that folded back up That's the wrong side. <laughs> Shows you how much I've uh, I've gotten used to using this equipment. Yeah, it's it's definitely getting chilly. It's getting crisp. Uh, we are we're holding strong with the cows and the chickens. I looked into bringing. Um, some of the the fields on you know ones to the north of us a little bit and i even looked at i had my realtor look at one of the ones down uh just outside of town there we go those actually a little little too heavy for this tractor i'm sliding a bit switch back over to level and give this another go i might switch tractors uh i'm gonna i'm gonna stop the video uh and we'll we'll be right back with you guys all right we are back i had to get out the old international and the leveler we hit it again it took quite a bit uh but we're finally at a point to where i think this will be able to compact it or at least i think so just based on you know smoothed out and everything uh it was not easy by any means
Seems like we're getting a pretty good compaction on it. Forty six percent. I don't normally like leaving that guide up in the left hand corner. I always try to keep that kind of hidden away, but it's the only place where I can see the compacting level. So that's what we're rolling with. I apologize if you, uh, if you're bothered by it. There we go. Good little spread there try to go this way a bit I'm gonna get some of this smoothed out if we we're able to have to actually grab the leveler come in here one more time there we go I know not the uh not the most um you know riveting <laughs> content today but this is stuff that we got to get done you know in order to get the farm up and up and running i appreciate you all tuning in and and staying with me and sticking through this uh being a new series like this you know i'm i'm starting pretty much from the ground up i've never worked with cows before um in fs19 or fs22 so it is a little bit outside of my wheelhouse so it's it's a learning curve uh but let me know down below please drop a comment um it, do you want to see with this series more of a sped up uh cover like high level like highlights or would you want stuff like this where you know there's an episode of leveling and compacting grass into silage uh because i can do either or but i i care about your thoughts and opinions on the matter because frankly, I could see this being a little bit boring. We are going to get to the point to where we're, you know, adding more cows and, and more chickens and milk. And, you know, unfortunately it's winter going into winter time. So once spring happens, we'll get into planning some fields. I want to, you know, one of my plans and I'll just kind of say this because this is going to happen. Um, we're going to be tilling up the field. Right, we're almost fully compacted here. Hold on. Uh, we're going to be tilling up the fields out back behind the cow barn and planting hopefully some fresh grass. All right. Put that away.
Let me get the oh uh oh that ain't good well let's get that dropped did i have any push through no okay so it's just over here a little bit push through huh maybe over compacted i don't know Let's, let's quick park this here. We're going to grab the international. Let's lower the leveler down. Drop that there. And let's grab this. that away you guys aren't getting annoyed by that anymore and let's come over here try to scoop this I might be able to feed this to the cows. Give them a little grass. Woo! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Okay, easy does it. <laughs> She's a little heavy. Got it. Understood. No, is it not letting me? I th Hold on, let's take a look real quick. Yeah, I can put grass in. They got water, they got straw. Okay. Well. I don't want to make a mess, so I'd rather not risk it. So I guess let's lower that down so we don't tip over. Let's go take this over here. Unfortunately, it means we're going to have to uh, compact one more time, but I'd rather scoop this up than... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? 
I said turn you off. I mean, I could literally just hook onto that, actually. I just got an idea. That'll keep me waited. Ain't going nowhere now. All right. this last little scoop I think that's about as good as what we can do. Drop that in here. Okay. Get that lowered. We are blanketed and ready to go. Got the silo. Or the silage started. Um, that'll probably take a couple weeks if I had to guess. Get this backed up in here. Okay. We'll put this bucket back. Actually, yeah, let's park it up. We're gonna park this here for tonight. Put the bucket down so I don't stress the hydraulics. All right, let's go park this. I'm gonna pull it in here.
and i think that's gonna do it for tonight um i'm gonna go relax we'll pick you guys back up in the morning good morning everybody up bright and early it's about 8 45 we ate you know got everything settled uh-oh what's this you all right Health's a hundred percent. You're sleeping. Hey, you okay. Yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> oh, there you go. Waking up. Come on, girl. breathing come on you must just be sleeping man i don't know she looks okay Your vitals are okay everybody good in here i know No milk yet. Definitely producing slurry though. Oh, there she goes. She's waking up. All right. Well, anyway, um, cows are looking good. We're going to we're going to actually head down to town. Uh, I've gotten my eye on a disc uh, to start basically chopping up the field uh, and getting it ready for springtime. I want to, I don't know if I want to get it churned up now or if I want to wait until spring, but he's got a pretty good deal on this cultivator uh this john deere 630 it's twenty nine thousand. Uh, i also have been keeping an eye over here just nothing really used right now uh so i think we're gonna actually pull the trigger on this john deere um show you guys kind of the, the 3d view but let's go down check it out and uh yeah see if it's worth dropping some some coin on i'll pick you guys up uh, as we get down in town all right well we're almost down here into town just kind of meandering There it is. He already got it out for me. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. Nice John Deere. It's in really good shape. Wow. Cleaned it up. Looks like you put a new coat of paint on it, maybe. Yeah, I think this is this is perfect for what we need. Gives us a big enough pass. You know, we'll till it up. I might have to come down here and lease like a planter or something for the tractor, but. 
Yeah, done deal. Let's do it. Hopefully. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's a bit of a squat. Hopefully we'll have enough power to get this thing home. Got my four ways on. I always like doing business with those guys. They're they're always, you know, looking out for the farmers in the town. Uh, they're never greedy about anything. They probably could have marked this thing up, you know, a couple more thousand, but he ended up giving me a deal. All right, got it back. Let's get it down in here. Just gonna kind of back it up into here. Okay. Not a bad deal. I think we might be able. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to detach all the mower equipment if I don't have to. Let's try this one here. Let's try this 8410. This should have more than enough power. Yeah, so my plan Basically everywhere where you see the rougher grass Is going to get tilled under and planted with grass so We're almost gonna re Like sod this It's a big field. I mean, it, it'll it's gonna take us time but the grass that grows on this field is just it's okay i'm just wondering if we should wait until spring and mow this down and and use this stuff one more time try to get a little more out of it you know what i mean and then plow it down and plant because the grass will grow quick once we have it planted, it, it should grow pretty, pretty efficiently and pretty quickly. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to wait. We're going to back this in here. I think that's actually going to do it for this episode, guys. I know these are kind of weird. Um, 
I know it's you know it's stuff that we are working towards we're building this farm up and this you know dairy operation up a day at a time uh so you know look for a couple things look for time to kind of speed ahead a little bit i'm probably gonna move time faster than i normally do on mossy pine ranch uh and look for things to kind of happen both more slowly and more quickly depending on the scenario uh with that said make sure you drop a like it helps tremendously with the channel i know these videos are a little slower than normal right now because we're building up um compared to you know a series like mossy pine ranch where we're on episode 25 um you know this is only episode four i believe so drop a comment let me know what you think and as always hit that little sub uh hit the bell it it uh, notifies you when a new video comes out uh check the discord check social media at blackstang 610 i love you all i appreciate you all and we will see you all on the next one peace